Hey everybody, this is Wes from the Console Gaming Crew Podcast, and we want to proudly say that we are a part of the Boss Rush Network at BossRush.net. BossRush.net is a place where you can find up-to-date news articles, blogs, and podcasts about video games. In addition to that, there is a growing collection of podcasts, not just in the gaming community, but other communities as well. We are honored to be a part of such a great network of podcasters and content creators. So please stop by and give everyone a listen at BossRush.net. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Members, what it be? Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> wow, that was a little. Well, I figured. I figured wrong? since Andy didn't Whoa. steal all of the energy out of the fucking room, I would. I would be a little bit you more excited. Up, no, no, no. I know, you what's gave ho- up some. I appreciate. What's it. What's hilarious <laughs> is I literally got everything that I intended to happen when I just did that. I got you being a little more upbeat and Wes looking super confused. Ah. That's all I wanted. I was like, if I do this, I wonder what will happen. And Wes had this look on his face. What the hell is Andy doing? <laughs> Why is Andy being out of, out of character? I, by the way, just for those of you that are listening, I, I wasn't here last week. Uh, something popped up with work, and uh, that's you know is what it is. Uh, but. The week prior, I did say I was going to be laying on the ground. I'm currently lying on the ground in comfort as I do this podcast. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Legit. He, he is doing a horizontal podcast yeah. right now. Is what he's doing. I'm currently horizontal. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> ah, dude, there's the name. The Horizontal Podcast Showcase. The horizontal Podcast. <laughs> ah, no, even better. The Showcase of Horizontal Podcasting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, I got to type that one down because I will forget. I'm gonna send it to you guys oh, now. Yeah. Holy shit, it's amazing. You, you, you yo, I'm doing this right now. You horizontally podcasting right now just made me think of Pitch Perfect when Fat Amy was laying on the bleachers when she was supposed to be running, and she's like, "I'm horizontal running." <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? But anyway, oh so God. we did say last week, and I'm glad that Anthony's here for it, um, that we were going to cover the Bethesda showcase this week, and it was a long ass showcase, so we are not. Going to it do wasn't any as news it wasn't with it. that long. I was like, oh my god, it, it was like damn near two it hours. It wasn't though. The, it was ninety it minutes. Was, it was like ninety. It wasn't minutes. even that. It was an hour long. If you skip like all the silly bullshit and like the hour you're literally waiting in the beginning, because I just watched it before we got on this podcast. Oh yeah, it's true. That so was, it was like a long an wait, hour. Yeah. You're waiting, so it's like two hours and twenty three minutes. No, it's like an hour long. An hour and twenty three minutes. An hour of waiting and twenty three minutes of bullshit. Touche. Touche. But, Wes, do you, do you have... I do not have a list up of things that came yeah, in I order. Oh, have, thank I God. So I kind of have an order. I, I, I have the one through Xbox, but it's, like, not in order of, like, how it was shown. It's, uh, what, you, it's what I'm here for. It's all right. You can lead us into these things then, brother. Yes. All right, so we're going to start off with something I know all of us yes, are I'm very, excited. very excited Just say for. It. Just say So, it. talking about yes. Redfall, which is a game that is oh, going to be coming yeah, yeah. out uh, 2023. It is going to be a day one release for the Xbox Game Pass. Okay, hold on, really quick. All can of I, these I, games, I'm oh, pretty okay. sure, are all That's all of these games are Game Pass day one release. No, minus not. one. Minus, yeah, I think minus it was one, one or, two. or two. The over the overwhelming majority. Was, the overwhelming was... majority, yes. But I did see I did see um something online a few days ago about what was day one and what wasn't, and a few of them. Are, That's That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean. But but like I out of like I'm pretty sure out of like 40 things that were on there I swear like 35 of them were <laughs> correct. Oh no, there, it, it was yeah, the overall majority, majority. Which is again, which is super dope because they're essentially giving away games for free. Not for free, but for, for free. free. <laughs> I'll take it. I just Mike just assaulted my nose. Okay, continue, sir. So this was um, one of the games we got from Arcane Studios, the same people that did uh, Deathloop. Mm-hmm. And um, I think Dishonored also is another um, another <laughs> game that they that they made. And Prey, yes, mm-hmm. thank you. Ooh, Alex would not let me live that one down. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we got to actually see some gameplay, which was mm-hmm. awesome. We got to see um, we got to see gameplay from all four characters. And yeah, man, it looks like it's just one of the things where I think they said um, like seventy percent of the world's population went ahead and died. So, but but then they came back. So there's only thirty percent that's actually like living and fighting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And essentially, we're running with a little a little group of rap scallions. And I love how I love how it's living. like. But it's but what's really cool about this is it's like it's only designated in this one area. Like I get it. Like it's like a worldwide thing. Uh, but it's only designated in this little area. 
in this little in this little this town, little, t- little yeah, this little borough, uh, like right outside of Massachusetts. I don't know why I said it like that. That's not how Massachusetts people. I'm about yeah, to say that's, that's New England. Uh, yeah, dude. whatever. Like, anyway, it's really really cool. I like the little location. I like uh, <clears throat> like if you see like all the other like uh. I, 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 it kind of reminded me of like the town that you would play through in, um, you know what? I'll have to get back to you. I'm snapping at you and I don't even fucking remember. I'll have to get back to you. Is it a game in the no, 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 uh, no, no, no. It's a, it's a game on. Is it Ubisoft? Is it Far Cry? Yep, nope. Forget it. We'll just talk later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there I go on a rant. It's okay. It's okay. Oh Ain't nothing wrong with it. So like I said, man, yo, it's going to be coming out, um, 2023. It is going to be a Xbox Day One release uh, for the Game Pass. Andy, what did you think about it? Any um? Oh, I, dude, you already know that that's right up my alley. So, I like the co-op. I mean, it looks, it looks dope. Absolutely. Yes, it does. It does give you some Far Cry vibes. The way like the weapons look, and even the way the character models look, really. But, um, yeah, but I mean, that's yeah, that's me. all right. It definitely, uh, it definitely looks dope to me. And there's no reason for me to believe that it's not going to be good. So. All right. Um, next one we have is a Metroidvania platformer game is getting its much needed sequel. I watched a friend of mine play this throughout. Give like, me throughout from beginning to end. We are. I am talking about Hollow Knight Silk Song. I see. Yeah, I see a lot of people. Um, I see a lot of people play that on YouTube, and it's it's wild. It's always people it's, speed we, run it. That's one of the big things yeah, with this game. It's weird. It's it's it always <clears throat> gave me like Ori ish vibes. Yes. Well, very it's much a, so. It's a Metroidvania platformer, which is essentially what Ori is as well. I mean, there's a ton of Metroidvania platforms, but I mean, even down to like the way the character model is, looks like something. I can that understand. I can understand where you're coming from. Done. Yeah. So, and obviously, right there, that's one of the greatest games I've ever played. So it makes me interested. Yeah. So um, the game was originally announced back in 2019, and we 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 finally got a glimpse of some of the gameplay, and now we know that it will be confirmed as a xbox uh game pass release day one uh but we still don't have a release date so hopefully we go ahead and get a little something on that at some point that's fair anything on hollow knight it's it's another one of the oh no my bad my bad my bad it's another it's another one of those games where like the game is super fun but you get drawn in by like the atmosphere in the back you know what i mean like they're so they're so good with their uh um whatchamacallit's the background, their foreground and background contrast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the <clears throat> contrast. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Thank <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, like I said, we don't know about a release date on this game yet. Hopefully, we get something later on this summer. I'm, look, man, I'm, I'm personally, I'm expecting another showcase. I'm thinking we're going to get another one probably like early September, late August. Something fact, to go ahead and show a few more yeah, things. The fact that still no one has seen... Elder Scrolls Six, you you know another showcase is coming because that's like the the only other big thing, really big thing that Bethesda has to show. That is outside true. of they can obviously show more of the things that we've seen here, but we haven't seen anything from Six yet outside of a damn like title screen like four years ago. <laughs> yes, that is true. Next one, we are going to be talking about a very very strange game that comes from the creators of Rick and Morty. Oh, this game is called High on Life. Yeah. Um, it is going to be releasing this October. Uh, it is something that it you don't. So, I don't really know so, how to explain it. It's so strange. Okay, I'll try to explain it. It's like it's it's like Splatoon meets Dead um, Space. Yeah. Now imagine that the gun that you use are made from Pixar aliens. <laughs> like, okay. That's... Okay. Yo, you, <laughs> yo, you just hit it. You just hit that shit. Yeah, so it looks all, like all the different guns, whether it's rocket launcher, right. sniper rifles, hand, may, hand may guns, May I interject really guns, quick? I just found this on IGN Please. for this game exactly. Uh, and it's summed up as Blade Runner meets the Muppets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's <clears throat> perfect. That's a good way of explaining yeah. it. But yeah, all of the weapons talk to you. Yeah, it's it's awkward, and, and they are all fucking. Where different. where's where's your finger going? <laughs> it's, look, that's look, all look. I was thinking the entire time I was watching that. When it was higher on life, I'm like, all I right, had, so this thing's talking. I had that. I'm thought. like, where's my finger? <laughs> <laughs> like, if uh, I'm pulling the trigger, where where's the finger at? What is the what trigger? is what is the yeah. trigger? Fingers, 
you know, some you might be you you know there might be a trigger there. You might be tackling a little booty. I'm just know. curious. So I, I want to know. We, we we don't we don't know. But I, it is honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I want to. No, know. no, I want to know. I'm curious. I'm. I mean, I'm not going to play it. I'm not <laughs> but either. I don't That's another know. game. <laughs> like, all right, neat I, idea, but I, not interested. I don't. I I I'm not sure. Yeah. How I feel about it yet? The fact that it's it's coming to Game Pass, right? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, so I'll probably easily any every one of these games. There's no excuse for me to not give it a whirl because I already pay for the thing. I don't have to pay for the game, so it's easy for me to peep these and be like, okay, no, I was right about this one, or no, yeah, I was but wrong I, about this I one. look at it more as just your psyche, like, like, yeah, like, do you really want your brain thinking about the where your you finger mean, you're is? A guns? Where's your finger, yeah. bud? That the that depends. The, the that the p- <laughs> bro, it's that fucking, <laughs> it's that goddamn polo shirt you're wearing, motherfucker. It, it depends. Where you're Mind you, uh, I'd also like Yo. to interject really quick. Andrew uh, is not currently wearing man meat shirt on Saturday like he normally does. Instead, <laughs> he's wearing like this frumpy, like purple polo shirt that blends what, into what, the, the what, Wes, <laughs> what Wes what Wes said before Anthony got on. I was sitting here and I was like twirling my pen. I wasn't paying attention. He was just like. You look like you're about to go on the herd and discuss sports with Colin <laughs> yeah. Coward. Like you're about to go discuss sport. You're like a sports analyst. I was like, I mean, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. But yeah, I mean, usually Saturdays, you know, it's always been man meet Saturdays you know, with Andrew. Man, t- man, t- <laughs> man. Now it's fr- man titties coming. It's to play, fucking. But... It's frumpy, frumpy Saturdays with Scubiak. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, what you gonna do with all that? Front? Oh my god! <laughs> Just figure out where my figure's going on the high, how high is life game. <laughs> so finally, you to, know something? Start, you know, you to, know something? Yo, I might actually, I might tweet the uh, the person that's creating this game. Can you please? Add. Just yeah, like from so CGC. What's the trigger? Where's <laughs> your finger at? Oh, I will one hundred percent do it from the CGC. Yeah. Oh. Say hey, the cat, the, the crew's wondering, where's your finger? Oh shit. Yeah. All right, yeah. keep moving, keep moving. All right, what's the next game? <laughs> Actually, that could be right, another so episode. Next... That could be the, the another name of the episode. Where's my finger? <laughs> what's your finger doing? <laughs> Horizontally casting. <laughs> <laughs> and what's oh, okay. All right. Continue. All right. So the next thing we got on the showcase was we got a bunch of Riot games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Yep. A lot of these are um, esport games. Uh, actually, I think all of them are. League honest. of Legends, that so kind of stuff. League of Legends. You have League of Legends uh, Wild Wild Rift, Legends of Runeterra, Team Fight Tactics, and Valorant. Valorant, I'll fuck with because I yeah, I actually Valorant heard stuff. that game was really good. I'm not even. It's <clears throat> not even necessarily that I'm against League of Legends, Overwatch, and that shit. I'm not. I just know that I'd be coming into that way too late in the game. I'd have no chance for survival. Against any of these no. kids, yeah, not a fucking KD, chance. And I'm KD's just out here for shit, abuse, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm not out here for some some abuse. I had my time at Call of Duty back in the day. S- Those days are long Speaking gone. Of, did you see the new Modern <laughs> so. Warfare Two's coming? I mean, it's Modern Warfare Two, but it's it's coming to the newer system. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that? I did. Yeah, yeah. indeed. I think maybe the I think maybe um, the old boys need to get back together for that. <laughs> see just how. Just how much better everyone else has gotten in our absence. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Never mind. All right, continue. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Next one is another sequel. Um, a Plague Tale Requiem. Yes, this one Fuck I am yeah. also excited about. So here's Fuck here's yeah. two. Still got to watch you finish. Yeah, the first I still got to finish the first one. <laughs> I'm dying to watch you finish that, bro. I will hop on the second you say you're playing that. Yeah, shit. I should probably get that. But done. um, it, dude, it, it looks sick. it looks fantastic. I don't know really much about. They didn't really divulge much about the story. The, exactly. No, but I know it takes place somewhere completely different. But, yep. And Hugo's older. Hugo's a little. Hugo's they're a older, little. They're but. they're both a little bit older. But did you notice? Uh, the one point when they were, it was at the, like the end of the, uh, at the end of the sure. trailer. Yeah. She's like, just do it. And you notice all the, f- he like, he like took over the yep. fucking, all the rats, like the swarm of rats, bro. Oh, I was like, stop. He can do that. You will hmm. get to, you'll. Yeah. Oh yeah. You'll uncover some more things. You still have like half a game to play. Well, not half. I think I, think <laughs> I have like a third, a, th- a quarter, yeah. a third, third. Or, yeah. A third. I'd I think say. I was a third left. Oh, so uh, that's something game, I guess we... I find out in the first game. Got it. Thanks. Um, 2022 is the release date on this. We just don't have an actual date completely um, nailed Probably down. Probably October, uh, November. Immediately. 
That would be my guess yeah. as well. And Andy, I expect you to be playing this one day one. Oh, absolutely. If, if because absolutely. it is coming to game he's not, then I will. As long as, I'm not in, as long as I'm not in the middle, like literally in the middle, because you know how I am, dude. If I start to like story-driven games, it's going to fuck me up. So as True. long as I'm not in the middle of something, absolutely. If not, I'll take it Because another beautiful thing about those games is, is they're not incredibly long. No. They're not yeah. stupid short, but they're not incredibly long either. Like they're not, you know. 40-hour, 50-hour games. Yeah. Maybe close to forty. I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember. But it's not. It's not like a. You, you know, really have dude, much because I think over, I over forty. I now. think he, when I first when I started the first one, and if I got a third third of that game left, dude, I'm pretty sure. I get. I'm probably wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty I'm really sure I was only like. Find out. Oh yeah, I'm so. I'm pretty so sure wrong. it's only like maybe <laughs> fifteen to eighteen hours is what I would say. The actual last. It's a well for us. Yeah. It is. it's twelve to fifteen for people that like streamline, okay. and then like mm-hmm. fifteen to eighteen for people who actually like, okay. Look around okay, for shit. So, 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 so it's roughly yeah. fifteen so to right twenty there, hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's it. That's Nothing it. That's a that. solid. That's still a solid game. Yep. What else we got? Yeah. That that game looks phenomenal. Right, so, by the way. sorry. It does. <clears throat> it definitely does. So, this one confused me at first. This next one, um, it looked like it was Hot Wheels because of the orange track and everything. Like, <laughs> like, yo, I legit thought it was Hot Wheels. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, yo, I can go ahead and throw that on. Land Are you talking about it, the expansion you know I mean? for Forza? Yes, I am yeah. talking about the Forza Motorsports and the Horizon DLC. Yeah. So the beginning of it was for the Forza Mo- uh, Forza Motorsports. Correct. Um, into which, yeah, dude, like I said, it, it looked, number one, it looked fucking incredible. Like, like those tracks looked insane. Yeah, and you know what, though? That's like, like th- go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, think about it. You're taking the ridiculous graphics you get that we always marvel at when it comes to Forza games and you're Correct. literally like adding it to your fucking childhood. Yeah, and if you think of, if you but if you think <laughs> of it this with with Forza Motorsport, Forza has been around uh, a while. Uh, decades. T- yeah, I, I think I, it's been I, around I for t- like a decade you. and a half. Right? So it's like what, 15 years? My, I'm an idiot, so please remind. That's fi- ma- n- not good with uh, maths, I'm, right? I'm looking up. It's like 15 years? I'm looking. A decade's looking 10, right? came out. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure they've been around for like a decade or more. Um, and they've always been what? Yeah, I have fir- the first one, Forza Motorsport, came out May 3rd of 2005. So there you go. So they, th- and they have always, I mean, don't Gran Turismo has always been like, you know, what people always thought of for racing. And then Forza came out, the, and yeah. they have always been on the forefront of being. My personal, oh, yeah. personal, and I'm I'm a Sony guy. Personally, Forza will and what Forza is and will always be better than Gran Turismo from here on out. That's just me personally. Oh, absolutely, F- Gran, Gran, like Gran Turismo is good in its own <clears throat> right, but Gran Turismo, like if you are a super duper racing fan, Gran Turismo is essentially just that the best you can yeah. get if you can't get your hands on an Xbox. <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're a race if you're if you're a racing, it's fan. true though. If you're a racing fan. Now, some people would push back on Forza, and they're both great. I've seen Mike play them. Some people would push back on Forza if they have an Xbox, if they also have the um, the F, like the F1. Oh, yeah. Series. I heard that Apparently, really the F1 too, yeah. series is it's nuts, dude. It's like I watch Mike play that game, and it's crazy how like you have the pit like talking in your ear and telling you different things you're supposed to do with your car as you're doing shit. Like, it's nuts. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Forza is like, that's the. The gold standard, yeah, I, I, for sure. And and the 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 Hot Wheels for the Forza Horizon Five, um, it's, it's a DLC that you're gonna have to pay for. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that it's gonna it's uh, Game Pass members get like an extra ten percent off of the actual price of the DLC. Oh, that's which wicked. is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> that aside, it like like Wes said, it's or Andy or both of these, it's literally your childhood in your hands. It's so cool because because yeah. not only are you getting the tracks, you're also getting the Hot Wheels cars. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's definitely a solid DLC. Word, awesome. Okay, okay sorry, I was, was oh, I was ahead. I was actually in the middle of um, throwing that tweet out. That oh hell I was yeah! Going to. Yeah, <laughs> for you mean for the high on life people? <clears throat> Where's your finger? But um, all right. So the next thing uh, we have is that we find finally we got to hear about the um the high profile. Uh, successor to the original Overwatch game, Overwatch 2. Mm-hmm. So, um, with this game, you're going to have a new playable character named Junker Queen. Uh, look, this isn't our style of game. This isn't what we do, but I, it is part of the showcase. It's what we used, so we it's do what we used to it. do. We just aged out of it. <laughs> Pretty much. We aged into sports really games it. and fucking solid RPGs. 
And what I mean when I say aged out of it, I'm not saying like, like we're too old to play that game. It just means that people far younger than us are far better. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't want to. I don't want to get myself wrapped up yeah. in that yet. <laughs> I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could deal with a ten year old screaming at me that I suck. Like, dude, dude shut of- up! I'm gonna call your mother. <laughs> I was telling Wes the amount of times that I played um, NBA 2K22. And this one game I got against these like two ten year old kids that wouldn't stop calling me dog water. I almost. <laughs> hey, dog water, where's your finger? <laughs> it drove me fucking nuts, dude. This kid's just like, dude, you're you're totally dog water, bro. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna murder you and your whole <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so good. Um, but yeah, continue. Wes. Sorry, I just. It's all good. Like I said, I'm just getting through oh this next one was nasty dude this shit was wild so uh microsoft flight simulator oh yeah oh yeah i thought this was neat oh yeah um they just announced for the 40 year anniversary the update which is gonna be coming out in november there is an exclusive crossover content between microsoft flight simulator and halo infinite so it looks like you'll be able to go ahead and fly the big boy yeah yeah, that that looked pretty fucking dope. I didn't see that coming. Microsoft flights. Like I heard the music and I was just like, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, why? Yeah, it's, and then I'm like, <gasps> Microsoft Flight Simulator has always been dope in its own right. So just to add something like that is just another <clears throat> cool little fucking thing. But dude, have you did you fuck around with it yet? The one that's on Game Pass? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm horrible. You, I'm fucking it's, horrible. It's tough, dude. <laughs> it's dude tough. I, yo, I, and yo, I went through the training too. I went through the training and oh. of learning uh, yeah, this, uh, tutorials and trying to learn the shit. And I tried to fly a plane from Philly to Cincinnati, and he's like, I crash. It, yo, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yo, he ended, yo, he like ended up, he ended up crashed in Tennessee somewhere, possibly <laughs> somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic <clears throat> Ocean. I, yo, I still think it's Bermuda Triangle. To be honest with you. I'll be, oh, I'll, that's I'll what that's what happened. You just the Bermuda Triangle done got you lost. It sucked me in, dude. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Got it. I don't know. So, so yeah, hopefully enough. we get that soon, man. Yo, if that's the case, I will easily jump back into that because you can do you can do that on cloud and um fly that pelican. Can you 100%. imagine? Can you imagine whipping that thing around? How fucking cool that would be. When it happens, I'll let you know. Yeah, told you. Ain't nothing stopping me on that one. I was say you ain't gotta let me know. I'll have access to it too. <laughs> All right. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, we got a new expansion for it. It is called the High Isle. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, also, we got um, we got more information on some more DLC for Fallout seventy six with the expansion. They're they're taking you back somewhere that you you haven't been since Fallout three. You're going yeah. you're going back to Pittsburgh. Yeah, because I believe in Fallout three there was a DLC called the Pit, right? Uh, I will look it up. I mean, I was, I'm definitely oh, curious okay. about that because I feel like with everything you do in these games now, especially in 76 that you definitely didn't do in 3, they do, yo, they they literally have Pandora's box. <clears throat> yes. Um, yeah, The Pit was one that was released in uh, 2009. There you go. Uh, yeah, it allowed you to travel to the post-apocalyptic remains of Pittsburgh and become embroiled in the conflict between slaves and their raider masters. Oh, fucking um, raiders! Yeah, <laughs> one thing. One thing I will say because it's always the raiders, bring, dude. I will. I will say this because you brought them. You brought them both up at the same time. One of my man, we could make a fucking episode out of this. But anyway, one of my we will. very few like gaming regrets that I have, like games that I missed out on. Yes, I think is is ESO because I, I turned my back on it because initially wasn't it like a, a paid to yes, play thing? it was. Yeah, it was a paid service type deal. And So I was like, fuck no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. But oh, dude, I never would have But then once they stripped that away, I kept telling myself like, okay, I love the Elder Scrolls, so if I can get some of my friends and play that with them, which is essentially, like, think about it. How many times we shit on Fallout 76 because they didn't give us what we wanted? Like, that's what ESO is. You're literally playing an Elder Scrolls game with your friends. You know yeah. what I mean? Like everything, everything's there. It's not some random. It's not some random shit like seventy six first was. But Robin I turned my back on. Really, it. really like playing. That's I mean, what, I mean, they, I, <clears throat> they still jump in every now and again. And and every expansion that they come out with that take you to these different places for like the different races that you see in the other games. I'm like, man, I really wish I didn't miss out on that one. But yeah. now it just see like 
sometimes the, like with every passing year, if a game seems like too daunting of a task to go back to, I'm just like, okay, I'll just have to wrap my head around the fact that I just missed out on that one and move on to the next one, I guess. Yep. But, but um, I can see how people would have a shitload of fun with it. Looks legit. Oh yeah. Next one, next game we're going to be talking about. Uh, it is a 2023 release. It's got Vin Diesel, mm. yeah, and it's got dinosaurs instead of cars. Yeah, yeah. I've dude, I've seen. Well, it's some still hot, all about family. I've seen. <laughs> it's all about family. I've seen some clips from uh, <laughs> the the first game, and like it looks sick, but I've never. <clears throat> So, it just, it's just one that I, there's always. Is this so like a that, sequel it, to the it first never one? Happened. Like it, it is Arc Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. a sequel. Oh, so one of the things that like, so when we first got a the um when we first got the the, the initial trailer that Arc Two was even coming out, the CGI on Vin Diesel was so fucking. <laughs> bad. It's still not Dude, that good we, though. It's, it's and, at yo, least I was about to it is a little bit better. It, it is better. And, but all you hear the is little girl all, looks fantastic. Yeah, all you hear is him and his fucking group voice go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's all, all right. right. Cool. So like you paid him how much just to use his face and a group grunt? Yeah. Jesus. Fuck. I mean, look, in the first one, he got to shoot cannonballs <laughs> at like four headed dinosaurs. So, I mean, yeah. like there's some cool shit in there, but. All right, next one is a game that we were supposed to get, I think, last year, to be honest. Um, it is the new upcoming survival horror game in the gory alien hellscape. I am talking about Scorn. Mm. This pissed me off because I'm so fucking excited. How many times have we said we were so excited about this We game just talked we about it like, like two weeks ago. Four showcase ago. And still, Even I they gave us it. nothing. Even I want to play. I it. still don't know what the fuck is happening in that game, and it's driving me yeah. nuts. I've seen no, four different trailers, and I still don't techno, know what's happening. It, it's some weird techno organic dude. Last year, at some point, we got like a eleven minute showcase of actual gameplay. Yeah, but you still don't know what the fuck it's about. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. It's not. It's not deterring me from wanting to play the game or get the game, but like, it's driving me nuts. Like, how many more showcases are you gonna give me before you tell me what the fuck I'm doing? Okay, well, I don't think they're going to give us any more because it's coming out October 21st of this year. They're just like, fuck it, bitch, find out. You know something? <laughs> Yo, we just going to learn. We just going to learn. And, you know, I and just... like, dude, I I am excited for this one. This is going to be fun. You know, I you think know, it's going to be fun. You know the issue that comes with that, though, with the, ah, fuck it, dude, just learn? Because, you know, for every 500 games where that's possible, there is a Death Stranding where you play the game for 30 hours and still have no fucking clue what you're doing. Which, yeah, that happens sometimes. Which is a first for Kojima, in my opinion. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yuck anyone else's yum. There are a lot of people. We do have to talk about that. Oh, okay. we will. We will. Because that was part of the showcase. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. But we have to talk right, so... about what we think the game's gonna actually be. Mm. Oh fuck yeah, that's a good ass fucking. Question. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry, Wes. <laughs> Let's move to it then. Oh, is that next? All right. Um, no, fuck. it's not. So <laughs> the next one is talk a game that is going... my god. <laughs> next Let's one move is to it. be um, <laughs> dropping early 2023. It will be a Game Pass title. I am talking about Flintlock: A Siege of That looks pretty cool. It is a third person action adventure game to where you wield supernatural powers to proclaim the world from the sinister undead army. If you give me magic and you give me zombies and skeletons and a flying fox, I think that was like a fox. There was like a I don't know what the fuck that was. It was cool though. There is not a single thing I would go ahead and say is wrong. Yeah, with it looked that, like a, it looked like a decent formula. game, actually. Yeah, I was actually excited about that. It did, and it did it did it looked like a mishmash of so many different games. Like I, when I first first saw it, I thought they were showing more Forspoken for a second. I, I can see like, that. Yeah, what the f- and that would have been very confusing for the showcase. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute, <laughs> that's what stopped Why? me when I was watching. I was like, wait, no, it's definitely not that. <laughs> but um, yeah, the game did look really fucking good. Looked looked like a expansive like they it like did yeah large fucking areas yeah all right um next one is minecraft legends mm. um this game is going to be coming out in 2023 uh it is a real-time strategy game obviously it is a minecraft run after all um it looks like it's basically just a combination of minecraft dungeons and just the og minecraft and just kind of just letting it roll hmm. i mean look i i know literally nothing 
about Minecraft at all. All I know is that it's blocks, and then there's green dudes, and you have an axe, and you hunt. Um, you do something with pigs. I don't know. I, me- so. I messed around with it for a little bit back in the day. I think once when I was, I don't know who I was watching. Maybe I was watching Caden or something like that, and that's what he wanted to play. So I was just watching him play that, and uh, yeah, I didn't understand much. <laughs> no, I don't get it. <clears throat> All right, next one is um, early access, talking like next spring. We are going to get the open world farming adventure, Lightyear Frontier. So this game, uh, it says here, with the help of a farming-oriented mech suit, uh, players will be able to build up a homestead on a mysterious world through resource collection and crop harvesting. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it looks... I feel like that would be like a that would that would make a pretty dope uh, mobile game. Yeah, it would. Yeah, I don't know if like, I. Yeah, it kind of it kind of has like a like like a more updated um, I, aesthetically like Farmville. Type yeah, I don't vibe. know. I was gonna say I I kind of yeah. I kind of like games like this because of the purpose that they serve when they're like super bright and colorful like that. Like it it reminds me in a way it reminds me like an animal crossing like the type of game you go to when you just want to like relax and do something and not be like in a war or playing something competitively you just like want to chill listen to some calming music and build some stuff like, yeah just don't hunt for spiders or scorpions yeah at, you know you, you, you mean when you want to relax yeah oh my god watching you guys and alex do that was fucking hysterical i will never get over how fucking hilarious that was and the fact that jess is exactly <gasps> like alex and Mm-hmm. reacted the same way is even better but continue mm-hmm. uh yeah so like i said next spring we're going to be getting light year frontier hopefully it's good we'll see what happens with it um next game is we're looking at a launch date of october of this year it is gunfire reborn uh just to go ahead and explain this one real quick it is a first person rogue light action game uh it supports up to four player co-op the shooter aims uh, to use ability-based mechanics for a unique and deeply playable game in a cell shaded world. Well, I'm excited to go ahead and see what actually happens with this game because if it's actually look, man, if it it looks like it has everything that we probably would run with, yeah, and no, 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 you know, I mean, I'm I'm probably gonna go ahead and mess with it. I mean, it's four player. Worst case scenario, I'll run it with the guys one night. You know, I mean, for stream. That's the beautiful thing about if you are lucky enough to have an Xbox and be able to have Game Pass. Worst case scenario, all you gotta do is delete yeah. it. You know what I mean? Not even. Fucking dude, play it off the cloud. It's or gonna play, play exactly yeah, the same. Say, or play it off the cloud. Either exactly way. the same. All right, so next game is a, another Metroidvania title, and it is being set in 1925. It is very Lovecraftian. Um, it is going to be coming out spring of 2023. This game is called The Last Case of Benedict. Fox. Is there more? Like, did I miss out on like the first three cases? Like, what happened? <laughs> when, I, when I saw that and it was like the last case, I'm like, where are the love, other couple? I love I love what you I love how you went. Well, there. because like if I'm gonna play the last oh, one, I wanna play the first fucking ten. I know. Like I wanna I wanna play your first cases. I don't wanna just jump to the last like that. Where's the fun in that? I don't get to like get involved and know you. Like games like that, and it really, it actually looked pretty cool. I, I did like the, I did like the, uh, the atmosphere that it gave you, the, the yeah. colors, like the feel of the game looked really neat. But again, if I, if, if I'm gonna play that, I want to play the other seven, the other seven games ahead of it. I want to get to know you. So like, when I need to find out if they're actually, I'm oh, curious. We like, will put this out there that we are fucking. Are there are not seven other cases? I'm sure we don't know. I have That's no idea. We honestly Watch West is gonna find it. Like, there's a hundred other cases, by the way. <laughs> like, huh? Alright. Done. But yeah, I really enjoyed like the Yeah, the the aesthetic of it. Like it had you know, it's got a little bit of you know, it's got a little bit of like Little Nightmares. Is it called Little Nightmares? You're, you're the one that played, played it. it. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's and yes, called, yes right? it is. You played the first two games the the night, little nightmares one and two. You played both. I don't yeah, I don't think I've finished it. Actually, I don't know if I ever actually played the second one. I think I downloaded it, but I don't know that I ever actually played it. That game's creepy as fuck, by the way. But I was there when you were playing it. I remember. God damn, that weird fucking ugly ass dude with them long ass arms. Yeah, and he's like fuck it. He's no like way, trolling bro. you the whole time as you're trying to like sneak by him, but he's like right there and he knows where you are. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that game. 
<clears throat> Alright, you can stop looking for other cases, Wes. I'll do that. You, you yeah, I'm trying, dude. I don't see anything, unfortunately. Sounds like another I want to like, though. Like, sounds like another tweet. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers, <laughs> where are like... the other cases? <laughs> no, people are gonna hate us. He actually sounds even better than I do that he said, I wonder if there's other cases because my dumbass, the first thing I thought of because of the way they named it was uh so what's the name of the game again? I'm sorry. The name was the last, the last case of Benedict Fox. Okay, so the last case of Benedict Fox, and I was just like, is this in the same line of games as what remains of Edith Finch? Because <laughs> I just felt like it would make sense. What remains of Edith Edith Finch is the last case of, of Benedict Fox. And apparently, and I do want right? to fuck with that game too, because that game, uh, what remains of Edith cool. Finch on Game Pit, dude, it's ten out of ten on Steam, nine out of ten on Polygon, and four point three out of five on and whatever. I fuck. love so Lovecraftian cool. things. Like Cthulhu, all that, all dude, all that type of myth, Cthulhu. mythos and stuff. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Continue. All right, next one. That one's for you, Adrian. Enjoy. <laughs> next one is as dusk falls. So we've seen a few um, play. You know I mean play by this, play things with this. This one really looked fucking cool to me. It really fucking looked cool. There was something about the animation that looked a little different to me than a lot of the other like Telltale style games. I mean, look, the dude, the main, um, the main character, <sighs> he, you know, he looks like a, um, he looks like a very young Johnny Depp. I can see that. Like for real, like, like, you know, something. If if you put Johnny Depp and like a uh, Romeo and I... Juliet, Leonardo DiCaprio together, that would be him. I just want to let you know, in case you didn't know, because I, I just want to make sure you're okay. Johnny Depp didn't really have knives for fingers. Damn, I had no idea. Or scissors for fingers. I just I, he didn't really have blades on his fingers and Edward scissor hands. That was just a prop. Damn, I had no idea. I just want you to know that. Okay. I haven't seen him take his hands off to show <laughs> me what's underneath. So I believe what I'm gonna believe until I'm shown otherwise. I ain't gonna believe you, you fake news, some bitch. Dang! Get out of here! Get out of here! I, I mean, Amber Turd told me that, so, so I just figured I'd he pass did it in along. this in this room of. I don't care about you. I don't care about the woman who would go ahead and lay a dookie in a bed. <laughs> I don't, don't care about nobody who blaming on the dog. My dog. <laughs> I love that you just did that. My dog. <laughs> my, my dog. My dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> my wife I had to has drink to pee. My tea. <laughs> I love that. That's what this is turning into. <laughs> I hurt my knee. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm cry if I keep doing it. Oh, shit. Go downstairs and watch some MTV. <laughs> It's the faces that everyone makes after trying to like imitate her face is what's so funny. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. oh my god! All right, so um, <clears throat> this is an Xbox console exclusive, which is cool. I I love how something like this that looks like it's very very rich with the narrative is oh, an exclusive. It has, to, it has to be. Um, so it was originally billed to launch around about a month from now, July nineteenth. I'm not. I'm pretty sure that's still where we're sitting. So we might be getting this a little earlier than before, than maybe we might have thought. Y'all ready to see a 60 player match? <laughs> I mean, it's daunting. But go ahead. That is daunting. So um, Nakara Blade Point is an action adventure battle royale set in a mythical world that is going to be coming out. That um that whoa 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 hold on. Battle Royale set within a mythical world that released in August on 2021. Ah, okay. So we are now getting this game on Game Pass um, June 23rd, 2022. Ah, shit. It's only a few days away. And it is also going to be cross-play, which makes it even I, better. I feel like it's probably a good thing that I don't play those games for my wife's sake, because I swear to you, if I ever won... <clears throat> A sixty person, like if I if I even if I won a battle royale, especially one with like sixty people, like there's no chance that I'm not going to helicopter all over this house. <laughs> there's no chance because I know it'll probably never happen again. So it's a good thing that I don't. For me, it'll never happen in the first place. Oh, I probably wouldn't for me either, honestly. All right, so the next game that we got is a game called Pentiment. 
Mm. Um, it is a 16th century narrative adventure that is set in uh, Bavaria. And the game is being developed by Obsidian. Um, and looks like we're going to be getting this game sometime in November of this year. Obsidian is not a company to fuck with. I will tell you that. And even though this game looked a little bit on the fucking strange side. Again, again I, uh, Obsidian trust, is not one to fuck with. I trust Obsidian. So it's yes. like, it's probably better than I think. <laughs> um. All right. So the next game that we're going to be talking about has, has already been on Game Pass as a game preview for quite some time. Yeah. Well over a year, to be honest. And I actually um, didn't even realize that until I watched this showcase. Yep, same here. <laughs> I thought I thought the whole game was just there. No, yes, yeah, so it was just the preview. And now Grounded is getting its official 1.0 release date, and that is set for September of this year. So you'll be able to play the game where you're shrunken down to insect size and you get to battle all sorts of buggies and baddies. We talked about checking that shit out the first time we saw it. When that comes to Game Pass, maybe we should do that for one one of our Fridays. I, give it a I roll, fucked around happens. with it a little bit at one point. Not like like literally like maybe hour and a half, two hours, something like that. It that was me. it was a little weird to get used to. I didn't fully <laughs> get used to how the mechanics were. But yeah. I mean I'm definitely down to try it again. Because yo, it's one of those games that we could get like an entire fucking squad and just fucking run in and just do whatever the fuck we do. It's just, I don't know what funny. we do, it's but funny. we'll it's fucking It's funny with something. the game we're talking about. We can just get like six of our baddest friends and kill some fucking ants, bro. Let's go. <laughs> it's not just ants, man. There's spiders too. Yeah, touche. You really want right. to show down with another big spider? You're not done with that for like a year? After, uh, Ori? <laughs> I got to appreciate her afterwards because I give me, give me, because she showed how loving she was as a mother. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. All right. Next game that we're going to talk <clears throat> about is called uh, Araban. Yeah, Araban uh, Shadow Legacy. Oh, dude, this looks fucking sick. So it is a cyber stealth platformer that is set in a somewhat dystopian future. Yeah. yeah that's about it. It's neat. <laughs> that's all I got. Looks neat. I'm gonna try it. You sounded so fucking excited. I am. I'm just for a millisecond. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you went back down to back down to. Hi. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, just gotta wait for it to come out. And I can play it. 2023. Yeah. That's when you'll see it. Time. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, Andy, you gonna join us? No, he's too busy like looking at like other froppy tops on fucking <laughs> whatever <laughs> Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> How to Banana Republic? Banana. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph so, A. Bank, mo- so dumb. Motherfucker's gonna be looking at like other fucking. Next week he's gonna be coming in no, another like a... froppy turtleneck, turtleneck <laughs> and like teal. I'll be like, bro, all right, stop and with teal. the shit. And teal, yes. <laughs> I swear to fucking Christ, if you come on this podcast with a turtleneck, oh I'm gonna you... fucking drive to your house and punch you in the neck. Like, I swear to God. Like, see, like, how you gonna see... find the neck, dude? It's covered up. Like, see, now I'm now I'm conflicted because like I want to do that now, but I I hate turtlenecks, bro. I hate tur- I hate anything around my neck. That's how I got in that fight with Scott Perloff when I fucking punched him in the face and then went to John's house that day. Like I hate things touching my neck. I hate it, so I can't wear turtlenecks. <laughs> so the next game we are going to start talking about is the much anticipated, especially for me after they went ahead and blew the motherfucking company up. Um, we yeah, are getting absolutely. Diablo 4. Yo, I feel like I can feel a little better about playing I that do. game now. <laughs> I do. So, Because there's no, there's no way I'd have touched it with a 10-foot pole with all the shit that was going on there before. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm absolutely not going to I'm calling it now, though, when we play it, boys, I get bullshit. Necromancer. I figured you were going <laughs> to. I knew you were going <laughs> to fucking fine. say that. No, 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 that's that. fine. I'll, yo, I'll find some type of demon demon hunter again and just go fucking go duel That man. Berserker? The Berserker's fucking wild. Did you see him? Uh, yeah, dude, yo, I like this is it looks so good. This looks so much, dude, yo, for, for being an over the top game, like it is so much nicer than you know I mean, than what three was. And three was fucking solid, and, and three was fucking incredible. Yeah, it was so good, dude, we played that game over and over again, hunting for legendary shit. Like, dude, we spent so much time with that hours. game. I actually want to go, um, I would yes. love to go back and see how many hours we actually spent on that game. Mm, that is actually a hell of a thought. I'm curious. <laughs> I would actually. So yeah, that would so, be a, that would be a pretty dope uh, show. 
Maybe like a, like a no. little short one, like when we did like news, you could do like the the games that you've played the most hours. Not like hmm. if you didn't get your total hours, but like games. Oh my god, here we go! And his fucking froppy top. He's gonna have a fucking turtleneck next week. He's, you know what? He's gonna have a turtleneck next week, and he's gonna like roll it down, so it's gonna be like a fucking p- a p- a poofy neck. All right, so with Diablo 4, you do get the Necromancer, which Anthony called dibs on. For anybody who wants to go ahead and throw down with him, he calls dibs now. Um, The game is also going to have PvP, co-op, core gameplay, and end game mechanics that were initially shown with with all the others that we had before um, the whole shit show that happened with Activision and Blizzard. So this Mm -hmm. game is set to release in 2023. And this is going to be a guarantee play for us, whether it is Game Pass or not. It doesn't look like it is, and I don't blame them for that. Because I get their fucking money. Hundo. <clears throat> All right, the next one got weird. Um, sea of Thieves. Oh. They wanted to go ahead and celebrate Season 6 and bring in Season 7. Yeah. And with that, you can become captain of your own ship. Or you can customize and decorate your own captain's cabin. And a whole bunch of other stuff, man. You can go ahead and change your vessel around and all the other type of shit that you can play. I mean, you can do in these Sea of Thieves games. Season 7 is uh, out on July 21st. That's when it starts. Okay. There's a, a clip I can send you. It's actually really funny. I still don't necessarily know what the game's about, but I believe it's, uh, you know, Plunkett. Um, I do know him. it? Is. I think I think it was a John Plunkett played Sea of Thieves and th- threw somebody in a jail cell <laughs> and fucking left them there. And there's a fucking there's a video if I can find it of this dude in jail just flipping out because Plunkett wouldn't fucking let him out. <laughs> it's one of the funniest fucking things I have ever seen. But continue. All right, next game. I think everybody needs to take a few drops of acid for it, to be honest with you. Take some acid, smoke some weed, do a little drink a drink. Just get yourself in the right type of mind state for Ravenlock. Third person action mm-hmm. adventure game. Um, it is clearly undoubtedly inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And you oh, have yeah. a fighting fairy tale. You are fighting fairy tale enemies while navigating a dangerous prophecy. Uh, the game is going to be coming out 2023, and it will be Game Pass when it comes out. So it did, I it, did look, it does look cool though. It looks dude, it yo, does it's look fucking cool. trippy, man. Yo, it has that it's got that um like Caroline type of look. You know what I mean? The movie? Coraline? The um Coraline, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it, it has that Jones. fucking like T yeah, Tim Burton type of shit going. <clears throat> All right, next game we are gonna talk about is Cocoon. That one so... didn't land for me at fucking all. The lead designer for this game is um Jep Carlson, who also was the lead designer for Inside and Limbo, which were insanely <clears throat> popular indie games. You know what I mean? When they when they fucking came out. That's that's what upsets me about the fact that this one didn't necessarily land for me because I played both of those games and they were so good. Yeah, so this is supposed to be an ambitious bu- uh, puzzle adventure game from, yeah, yeah, like I said, from the mind of uh, Jep Carlson. I don't see anything for this one when it comes down to Game Pass, but it is coming out in 2023. Fantastic. All right, let's keep on getting weird because the picture I have on my screen right now, it's weird. <clears throat> Woe Long Fallen Dynasty was the next game that we got. We got this. The game was developed by Team Ninja. Um, it is, you are a, you are playing in a dark fantasy action game set in feudal China. Uh, it looks to be a blend of supernatural and historical elements to help you tell the story. It will be a Game Pass game when it comes out in 2023. It, I mean, look, man, it it had all the, you mean it had all the stuff for just all that type of mythos. You know what I mean with the dragons and everything else that was happening around that time in feudal China. So it could absolutely end up being a hell of a game. I'm kind of hoping so. It, it looks like it gonna, might be. I think it's going to be a hell of a game. And as soon as I saw like the characters and what they were using, I was like, that already looks right up Anthony's alley. <laughs> I actually at first thought it was like a new Onimusha or fucking like a, some Dynasty Warriors shit or something. Yeah. When I first what? saw it. Oh, Wulong? Yeah. The, the Fallen Dynasty. Yeah, I, yeah. I will be playing that. 100%. 
Nice. And like... when it does drop in 2023, it is going to be on Game Pass. <clears throat> Gotta love it. Uh, next up, we have a landmark move for Microsoft with getting Persona 4, 3, 4, and 5 coming to Xbox and PC in October of 2022. Those games have huge following. Insane following. Yeah, I don't know anything about them, but I do know that a lot of people do have a blast with them. All right, so the next one is what you guys were initially um, leading us up to with uh, Kojima. <clears throat> yeah so that's fucking dope so what i didn't see coming because we had talked a few podcasts ago uh when kojima shut down the possibility of his studio being purchased by anybody right yeah. and you know we were talking about that and it's it's still not but it, what i didn't see coming was apparently microsoft or microsoft bethesda and Kojima are partnering up for some brand new game that apparently he's been wanting to make for quite some time. It's gonna. I'm telling you he right said. now, it, it's probably the game that we were talking about. I don't know. I don't know. He wanted to. I, cre- I mean, I don't. I, I mean, he wanted to create I mean, that game. You could be right? right. Did he not? You could. Yeah. <clears throat> it just it. The way he was talking just leads me to believe it's something completely different. Because he was talking almost like it's like it's something that he's wanted to do forever, like almost like a genre maybe that he's that he hasn't gotten to do yet or something. I don't well, know. Maybe, but but when you when you like when you make games like you know Death Stranding and um, um, what call it? Um, God damn it! What's the other one I'm thinking of, please? Um, Metal, Gear, Metal, 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 Metal Gear, the Metal Gear games. You know, when you have games like that on your on your shit and you know that you wanted to make a Silent Hill game, like, what the fuck? Like, I'll never be able to guess what the hell ga- damn game you're trying to make. <coughs> I'm hopeful that you're right, Anthony. I hope that that's what it is. Because you know how much I've been dying for that. Yeah. So, I I, I mean, I, I hope that that's what it is. But, yeah, so um, we didn't get a release date on anything because he didn't even give anything about the game. He didn't give so us a single thing. It's literally just a... That teaser basically that you know Hideo Kojima and you know Microsoft Bethesda are partnering up for some crazy game that he's always dreamt of making and now he's doing it. So I would say you'd probably have to wait at least another year to find anything out about it. Okay, I'm game for that. Yo, knowing his track record, knowing what he can do. Yep. Let's go. Dude, yo, you want to talk about doing something that, that'll go ahead and help separate, you know what I mean, Xbox and Microsoft and Bethesda from, you mean, you mean from others, other, um, just other developers and other, you mean, publishers oh, and stuff? Yeah. That oh, could yeah. easily do it. You certainly tagged in the right guy. <clears throat> so the final, sh- the final part of the showcase, we got, what the hell was it, 10, 15 minutes? I think 15. Yeah. Like 15 minutes of actual, um, actual gameplay. <sighs> And it had to do with Starfield. So it's the action RPG that is focused on space exploration and combat. It is being developed, obviously, by Bethesda, who everybody knows from Elder Scrolls and Fallout. Look, we already know this. We already talked about this. The exact details being few and far between prior to the showcase, fans finally got to see gameplay and comprehensive overview of many mechanics. Here's what I'll say. I'm wondering if I'm just I'm still wondering if Ant had the same feelings as I did up till a certain point. And then got nervous because that's what happened to me. Watching I, it, I was like excited, 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 and then I went too much, too much, way too much. <laughs> so, so I got. So now I I'm got thinking super, you're on this. Yeah, I got super fucking pumped for this. Not like, me. Dude, I lost all. The hope. world looked. The world looked great. The way you can go ahead and explore the planets, over a thousand planets in this. Boom! Game, there it is. Like, like that part. That part is insane. That, it didn't. It's not deterring me, but it's like I'm super excited, and then I just went, ooh. Now I'm super nervous. Yeah. Because that is insanely ambitious. It is. And that is like borderline without, too ambitious. With how long we've been waiting for something. Well, like wait a minute this, now. Though. We t- this was talked about in same the same year. We heard about the same year when they dropped the teaser for Elder Scrolls Six. So they dropped both teasers at the same time. So at least f- four years. Yeah. You need more than three or four years for a thousand fucking planets. Let me tell you something. 
That's not happening. Okay, and yeah, I, it's not like they just started working on it. I get it, dude. Oh, of I, course. I get it. Of course. I'm, but I'm ta- they were probably working on this shit way before. They were probably working just, on this I, while they were like, working on fucking finishing up fucking all the DLCs for Skyrim and shit like that. My, I mean, look, like, dude, they, they could have easily been working on this when they, you mean, you mean back with, um, Back with like a fucking uh, Unreal Three engine. I, I, I get my, it. My 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 brain is pulling me in so many different directions yep. on this because on one hand I'm like, it's way too ambitious, way too much, and then on the other hand I'm like, okay. But Bethesda the time, already knows how ahead. bad they initially fucked up Fallout seventy six, and I don't think that they're gonna do that again. Because they know how bad they fucked up that they had to go in and fix it. So I'm hoping, like, okay, they know what they're doing. So maybe even though I think this sounds crazy, maybe they found a way to package it that isn't all that crazy. So, But I don't the, know. One of the biggest <laughs> things in this trailer, in this gameplay that I saw that actually made me feel good for a Bethesda game, period. The people don't look like they do in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first time you get a little bit different, <laughs> dude. <laughs> a little they, change. They actually look different. Look, they didn't get the hair very well, but baby steps, dude. You I want know, a thousand planets? You know something... Fuck your hair. <laughs> 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 Let's be real. To which most people are being like, to which, to which most people are like, hey, 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 we didn't ask for a thousand planets. Y'all just gave us that yeah, shit. Well, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't ask. Just for that. I mean, look, we've ne- we've never gotten good hair from Bethesda though. That's true. But I've ne- but again, the, what have we always said about Bethesda? Minus their initial screw up with seventy six, I can't judge it now because apparently they fixed it. I haven't gone out to check it out, so I'll leave that one out. But everything else, their stories in the games have been so fun. You can overlook how the people look. I mean, I, I if you have a shitty I've, game and those and that's graphics, what I've done. then that's one thing. But yeah, but you know, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, so so I am I am insanely excited for this game. Uh, with watching the, with, I mean, you land on the one planet and you're you're kind of going around like this bend, like almost a ninety degree, and you see this little thing pop up like a spider, like a spider crab, and kind of like crawl yep. over. the The way that that crawled looked so glitchy, it bothered the ever loving hell out of me because it wasn't just that. I ended up seeing it more and more through the rest of the tra- I mean, through the rest of the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like and when you were like, done building part, your that fucking, part was when you're done building your fucking your your spaceship, and you start fucking flying it, and he starts. Fu- Did you notice when he took out the very first fucking spaceship? It was glitchy as hell when it fucking blew up. Here, I was like, oh boy, <laughs> there's a <laughs> lot going on here. Hopeful. Now, hopefully, they just like that's just a matter of just cleaning some shit up, and they don't go full like Cyberpunk 2077 and just send it that way. Oh my god, <laughs> but. You Hopefully, a say, lot of people. Now Anthony's going to go I, off again. Yeah. Hopefully, that's that's CD Projekt Red, yes. right? Yes. Hopefully, a lot of people have learned from them at this point that no matter how le- like highly anticipated your game is, you can't just say, "Ah, fuck it, we made it this far. Just push it out there. They'll deal with it." Can't do that. So hopefully, Bethesda knows that too. But see, I didn't know about the uh, the Thousand Planets thing before I watched it, and um, oh, so a lot of I. a lot a lot of other people had watched the showcase before I got to. So now I understand when I saw some people tweeting like, "Hey, cool! I finally got to see 15 minutes of uh, Bethesda's version of No Man's Sky," and I was like, "Yes, I wonder why they're saying that." And then when I that got makes the sense. Part, the Holy shit. parts, I'm like, "Okay, now I get it." Well, not only that, but also, I mean, it like the way that they did some of the showcase for um, Starfield. You could actually go ahead and put like a side by side of No Man's Sky next to it, and it looks almost identical. Ooh. The only, di- the only, yeah, difference. it's not good. It's not, the, no, it's not. The the only difference being, and the reason that I think it will be okay is because like I saw no, IGN Man's, do that no Man's Sky has had a resurgence now since they fixed it, yes. but that game is still basically just predicated on exploration. That's it. So if this game has that element, but you also have a rich story with mission, which obviously you do because they talked about that part. You have missions, campaigns, side stuff like that. So I'm hopeful that it works. Like I said, I'm I'm cool with everything until you get to that thousand planets part, and then I'm just like, ooh, I don't know about this. <laughs> Hopefully, I can be like, okay, I was wrong. Y'all figured out a way to make that all right. But I mean, you're gonna watch when you go to knows. fucking download the game in your fucking system. It's like. <laughs> Nine thousand gigabytes. You were like, "Oh, cool! I need seventeen extra hard drives to play this game." <laughs> it's gonna go go back to the days of Shenmue on Dreamcast. This is gonna be like a six disc game if I buy the hard copy. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, but that 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 made me nervous. But like, that's I, and that's where I, I that's where they thi- lost I me. I gotta, 
I gotta think with how long because you also have to that remember. Doesn't mean anything. There were there were plenty of people for, and obviously technology gets better and a bunch of things get better. There's a lot of times where people said, you know, you're biting off more more than you can chew with, you know, Fallout with Elder Scrolls. Like this, remember what people were saying the second they first added in. I forget what game they added in. It may have been four the ability to like create your own settlements and shit, which is one of my favorite goddamn parts of fallout four. Yeah, it was four. people. There were people out there like that. That's too much. Like you're going to, you know, you I mean, want us out personally, here, like, I couldn't stand it, and... but I get it. Oh, I loved it, dude. I fucking dude. Anthony I, and I spent like a whole goddamn we day. Did. We spent a whole building day. The sickest town, the sickest hotel it's in the hell, world. Yeah. Hotel with a, <laughs> with a fucking rooftop bar and basketball court. Say, say yeah, less. Had a fucking, say had a, less. We had one floor, one floor with a fucking movie theater in yep. that bitch. Say less, <laughs> dog. Had, look, look, that shit was fucking dope. I'm had not like gonna 19 say that Jennies shit wasn't that dope. Thing. I'm just saying that it's just not, it's just not me. Like that part of it just isn't me. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's all, oh, dude. I fucking, I had, and like I'm excited. It is so like, I, I'm, I'm. It's like I'm excited, but I have reservations. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, you like know, I. I I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm hoping it goes the route of every other Bethesda game, not named Fallout 76 when it first came out. Because other than that, Bethesda's shown no reason to believe that they can't pull off whatever the fuck they're telling you they're gonna give you. Yeah, it's true. So, but what, but like I said, Agreed. what makes me nervous is that Fallout 76 that initially flopped because they bit off more than they could chew. They tried to give way more than what people were asking for, and this game seems like they're biting off more than they can chew that seems like a lot so i'm just having flashbacks <laughs> I'm like, so, i agree <laughs> i'm nervous like i've been here before i was so excited about fallout 76 and that excitement went away within the first days the, the of first couple the days of playing and you're like wow I'm, yeah I spent all and this i'm like money. wow i'm fucking i'm over this hopefully i don't remember most of the fucking trailer but hopefully there is no sort of like permanent multiplayer online multiplayer i game. yeah i don't want any i hope you have the ability to just play the goddamn game on your own without fucking seeing anyone else i agree <laughs> i agree i hope so i hope it would so. be legit i hope so if not especially if you if you are stupid enough to have this shit be online multiplayer with a thousand planets you better have forty six thousand dedicated servers <laughs> yeah better have them yeah that's just kidding. for one gnarly. time zone by the way <laughs> yeah so, Fuck. yeah, that's something you're gonna have to fucking figure out. Fucking figure it out. But um, but I am still, like I said, hiccup. I am I am still very excited because again, with the, minus the one fucking hiccup, which according to you, Wes, because you did it more obviously way more recently than I did, they have gone back and righted that wrong. Yes, like, with seventy six. So, yes, you know I got no reason to believe they're not gonna fucking huh. just like the next thing CD Projekt Red puts out. I'm gonna be skeptical like a motherfucker. <laughs> so, you know, trust I mean? me. So are they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If actually, real, really, if there's anyone that you can probably bet on that their next game is going to be the most gangster thing anyone's ever played, it's probably going to be them because they it's probably going to be Project Red. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So I. I right, am, but yeah, that was I'm that excited. was the whole showcase. So, and like we said, the bulk of that was was all coming. In. That's one of the biggest highlights of that thing is that the bulk of shit that you saw, you can get day one on Game Pass. Yes. Which is fucking crazy. Like it almost just seems like they're throwing money away. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, they to be completely honest, they are with with how they're pricing the um the Game Pass stuff and and how they're and how they're spending money on picking up like these developers and shit. Like they are actually losing money right now, but they're doing that in order to you know I mean essentially gain it in the end. You know what I mean in the long run to go ahead and actually be making way way more money. They are constant like. I did not expect 95% of this showcase to all be things that I can just play without having to shell out any extra money. And every time I saw another game coming and another game coming, I was like, Whoa, Sony really better step their game up with this fucking new thing that they got going on. Yeah. <laughs> like They better rethink their stance on not bringing brand new games to that platform. Well, so that was, because... a, that was a, we were supposed to go over that list a while ago. <clears throat> it was actually like three about three weeks ago. We were supposed to go over that list. I was going to go over it with you. It was part of my news. Um, there's actually a very large amount of new games that will be on that platform day one. Yes. Really? Yes. Really? So they walked that back real fucking fast then because whoever the fuck it was that said that they had, at that moment they had no plans of releasing any new games. They must have walked that back. I will, get, back I will see if I still have the article. 
I wonder, okay. and it would be smart. I wonder if that originally was their plan, and because you got you have to know, every, these companies, Microsoft, Sony, they know the moves that the other ones pulling. They know that they're hearing shit around the water cooler. They know what the fuck's going on. So I'm wondering if that was initially Sony's plan, and then once Microsoft heard that that was Sony's plan, they said, "All right, bet y'all aren't going to put brand new games. Watch this. We're going to triple down on ours, and we're going to give you damn near everything." <laughs> on game pass day one for this showcase and then playstation was just like well fuck i guess we got to put new games on here now <laughs> okay so i'm looking right now at the upcoming um xbox and pc over the next 12 months on um just for like xbox yeah. right uh-huh. and so for 2022 there are 25 games that are supposed to come in from from this point on yes only eight of them are not game pass that's not bad that's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. So out of all of the games that are coming out in 2022, the ones that are not Game Pass are the Elder Scrolls DLC, The High Isle, the Hot Wheels DLC for Horizon, you have Overwatch 2, Gotham Knights, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, um, Hogwarts Legacy, and the Callisto Pro- uh, Protocol. But no, nothing, nothing about this. Everything so, else that is coming out for them is a Game Pass game. And think about what you just said. So you said there's only eight that aren't going straight to Game Pass, right? Mm-hmm. And two of those that you just said are only DLCs. So <laughs> really, only six whole games aren't coming to Game Pass. Uh, here you go. Here's, here's the next one. So 2023, right? Awesome. Also it's 25 games. Yeah. I'll just read you the games that are not Game Pass day one. It can't be a lot if you're going to read them like one by 25, one. 25 total games for 2023, mm-hmm. okay? I'll say it again. Diablo 4. Um, Resident Evil 4. Dead Space. The only shit not common to Game Pass. And two of those are remakes, correct? Dead Space, or is that a new Dead Space? No, it is a Resident Evil 4. No, it is a remastering of the of 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 Dead Space 1. Okay. So in the following year there is only one brand new game that is not coming straight to Game Pass. <clears throat> being Diablo 4. I can't So the, so this I year honestly can't believe two of them are DLCs and then you have six that aren't coming. The following year you have two that are remakes, one so yeah. Like what? I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what crawled into Microsoft has, but I'm digging it. <laughs> well, dude, we've already talked before about how about how many comp- how many developers they bought, you mean and and brought into the uh, you mean brought under the umbrella of um of Xbox and mm-hmm. of Zenimax and all that other shit. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right. So now here's the question for you guys: This showcase, I want to get an actual grade from you two. B. Um, I'm 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 giving it the like I said the easiest day I've given thus far because there was maybe three. Th- actually, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an A plus. I'm gonna give it an A plus because, wow, in every other wow showcase, I haven't had the wow. like, in like in this specific showcase, it is <laughs> Jesus. In this showcase, anything and it wasn't much. It was only maybe two or three things that I wasn't super duper jazzed about. I don't have to buy to figure out if I'm wrong. The bulk of this. <laughs> Jazz hands. The the bo- the f- what what took it from an A to an A plus for me is the fact that ninety five percent of this shit is going straight to Game Pass, so I can literally go on and pl- again. It feels like I'm playing them for free, even though I know I'm not. I am paying a monthly fee, but I ain't paying sixty dollars. I can't trust. I can't trust every time. I can't, f- I can't trust fucking frumpy Scoobyacks fucking choice. I need I need fucking man meat Saturday Andrew to make this fucking decision, not frumpy Scoobyack. So, oh, Mammy's gonna tell you the same. Your thing. A plus. I'm wait, yo, yo. I'm waiting for like Stone Cold music to just go ahead and just like bust <laughs> open the and just see him just rip the shirt off. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Smash together like two cans of soda. <laughs> titties flopping. <laughs> that was flopping titty noise, by the way. <laughs> uh, it always used to piss me off when Stone Cold did that because I'm like. Bro, you got like two sips out of that. Yeah, God, what a you fucking waste. Well, that was the point. 90% of it out. <laughs> that was the point. So good, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm sticking with the whole B. Yeah, dude. Sticking with the B. What you got? I'm going to give it a... My grade will go up if, if hmm. Starfield 
is better than expected. It'll go up to an A if okay. Starfield is better than expected. So we got to wait until next year. Yeah, for that. and I'll, I'll, I'll make that. Don't worry. I'll make that decision then. <laughs> it's like, guys, we got to go back and correct something that we had on the podcast. Yeah, a it's ago. a C because <laughs> the fucking game is laggy and people don't have hair. Yeah, it's a C because I got to fucking planet Flafluga's 19th moon and the whole game froze. So <laughs> I took a took a shot with a BB gun and the whole game blew up. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. I'm just going to stick on Earth. <laughs> it sounds like y'all, me. Yeah, yeah. I'll go explore. I'm going to yo, Starbucks. Yo, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you guys are going to hop on. Talk to you when you get on. back, man. I'm good. You guys, you guys are going to hop on and be like, bro, we're going to Zevia. You want to come? Like, no, I'm just going to chill on Earth running Starbucks. I'm cool. <laughs> You guys enjoy. Tell me what's out there. I might go to the moon, but yeah, no, nah, that's I'll, far. I'll be home for that's dinner. Yeah. I'll be home for dinner. What I what I was gonna say about that game though, if it does work better than we think that it could, and they they find a way to make it not seem so extreme, mm-hmm. that would be a game that would be super cool for us to do what we did with Horizon, where we all are on like chat but playing our own individual games because we'll be in completely different planets. We'll be like, dude, what the fuck are you yeah. seeing? Because I'm seeing some crazy and, shit. And over I, here. I I actually agree because we did that. We did that with Fallout 3. We did that with Fallout 4. Tried doing it with Fallout 76, and it fucking just took a shit. We've done it with Skyrim. Um, I, I... <laughs> go, go figure that we did it with all these games where we had to play separately, and the one that took a shit was the one that we were actually able to play go together. Play together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is fine, I, and but I think but... we should do that because we always have so much fun uh, when we play our games Absolutely. together. Uh, Obviously, yeah, just absolutely. in different areas. It's always and awesome. it's even crazier because depending on how the exploration is to these thousand planets, like if you see something crazy on yours, you're not even gonna know how to fuck to tell me to even get there. That's also true. <laughs> like, bro, I want to check it out. How'd you get there? I don't know. <laughs> What's the longitude latitude? A lot and a lot more. I don't I, know. I I I banged, <laughs> what, I banged a right in Galaxy Four Seventy Two. I don't know. <laughs> what 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 makes this game? What what hat what. what the re- the reason this game could potentially be amazing is uh, while especially while we play it too for the three of us anyway, um, is we're all different natured, so we're all probably going to choose a different faction while we're playing. More than like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, Wes is gonna Wes is gonna be at the end game before you and I even do like the first. Like mission. Wes, what the fuck, bro? He's like, yeah, I just I'm Dude, still on Earth. So I good. told you, Earth, Moon, Home, Dinner, Starbucks. I'm out. I made it back. <laughs> That's how good the game is. I made it back. <laughs> but yeah. Um, no, nah, I'm gonna give it an A. I'm just gonna give it an A, A minus because just out like throwing A's around like it's fucking. No, I'm dude, not. We've throwing covered, A's we've covered around. a lot. Of, we've covered a lot of showcases. I ain't given out. I don't think one A yet. Yeah, we given out. You like, given out two too many, I mean, dude. There's been. <laughs> um, dude, there's there's plenty on here that. That just, dude, it leaves everything for this for the rest of this year and next year, just completely just wrapped up. It was like, crazy. I haven't been on Xbox in fucking months. I should really get back on there. That's basically all I've been on. I you know what I mean? Ever since I finished there. Horizon, ever since I finished Horizon, yeah. I've, all I've really been I on actually is Xbox. with game because of Game Pass now. I actually get excited when I have long stretches where I'm not because you don't on know Xbox. what's on there. Yeah, so I go on. I'm like, "Ooh, what the fuck's on here now?" I just go right to the new releases part. Yep. But I'm actually gonna do what Anthony did in the other direction. So how he said his is gonna go to an A if Starfield pans out. I am taking mine from an A plus to a B plus, and they don't listen to us. But I'm gonna say this: Hear this, Bethesda. Hear this shit. <laughs> listen to my goddamn words. As an achievement hunter like myself, oh my god, and like this Anthony as well. If you happen to be stupid enough to make one of the damn achievements that I have to travel to every single one of these 1,000 planets in order to, to like, 100% this game, that's going to... That, you've, you've lost a whole letter grade on this shit because I will <laughs> lose my fucking yeah. mind. I will lose my mind. Oh. That better that better not well, be one. Quick side Unless note, you can fast travel. When, when it comes down to, um, like, platinuming a game, uh, Amy Mallet, who is a... IGN. I mean, I mean yeah, IGN. She, she's, now she's actually working with... um, She's working with Netflix now. Oh, cool. Oh sweet, yeah, that's dope. But um, she knows Alex and Jacob from What's Your Spaghetti Policy. Yeah. She's been she's been on their she's been on their pod, uh, podcast a few times. She just platinumed Elden Ring today. Nice. So yo, like yo, I I Jesus. sent her I sent her a reply on her tweet. I'm like yo, good on you because that's fucking nuts. That's insane. I haven't actually looked at like what that entails, but I'm assuming it's ridiculous. I'm assuming the same. 
gotta be. But yeah, Miss Mallet, congratulations, because that had to have been absolutely nuts. That is what we have with the showcase. Like we said, we're not going to do news because we're already over an hour. Yeah. So Take let's give sketch. that echoey intro and do what we do. So now it is time to go ahead and let all the crew members at home and the ones abroad. We're going to tell you what we are playing. <sighs> all right, what are we playing? So number one, Chell, last Amazing. night. Four and Amazing. Oh, what the hell, dude? That shit was awesome. And, and, and let's, let's note on this really quick. That was all in D2. That yes. was all in D2. Right? That was all so in D2. So we went 4-0 and... in D2, playing top tier top tier teams. Three out of the four, I think, were top tier. Were they not? Or am I am I yeah, wrong? I mean, dude, I mean, yeah, I mean, think about it. In a, oh, in yeah, a, you guys looked a, that up, right? Yeah. Yeah, in a in a game where you have you're into like the I think into like the twenty thousands on teams and you play three teams in the top three hundred. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? So they were. And what I really fucking enjoyed about this one, it was. I do still love playing against the human goalie. That's the first time in a while that we've ha- played a full night with all three. Oh of my out. god, it was so that phenomenal. Was fun. But what I also like was that you got in every game you got something different. Yeah. We had in we had an ass whooping game. We had a game that was super. T- so the first game was super three overtime. We went to three damn Amazing. overtime. Amazing. Three overtime. I, yeah, I told my wife that she's like, like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Yeah, that's what took up the it bulk like, of the night." Yeah. It was like, uh, yeah, it was like it was like a nip and tuck, super <clears throat> defensive game. We won in the third overtime, yep. and then the second game was I think like a five or six nothing ass whooping against these ginormous dudes. Then we got them in a rematch. They played better. Yes, we won I think by one. Yes, yeah, we won or by something one. like that. And then in the last game, we actually had some adversity for once because multiple times in the game we were losing. We were, we were losing down one nothing in the first period, and then we were down late in the third. Yeah. Yes. We were down two one late in the third. We tied it, I believe, two two around a, around a couple minutes. It left was around the five minute mark. It was two two. Then they scored again. Then they hit us. You got a breakaway to tie it up for three three with like two minutes left. Um, yeah. they yeah. almost had a breakaway with like thirty seconds left. Or no, it was like fifteen up, seconds right? left. Yeah, we had the power play. They screwed it up instead of taking the breakaway. He just dumped it. We went into overtime, and I think did we hit our play? One of you. I think we one of we yeah. hit our play on the back half. So yeah, where we set up on the one on the wall. I'm not gonna tell people. Fuck that. Because if we get to it and we're playing it, we're gonna do it. So <laughs> fuck off. Anyway, we got our play. We have a special. We got play. our special play going. Uh, Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. And we won that in fucking overtime. And that was uh, that was actually the. I, that was the best, best team we played. we played of the night. Yeah, um, I think they yeah. were like, one, they were in the top two hundred. Um, yeah. But it was yeah. it was a really good night of hockey. Um, if you caught yeah. our Anthony was an ankle hacker. Oh my god, that yeah, that was that one game. This kid, this kid had like a weird fucking night where he just could not stay out of the it was, And Wes, I don't think went in once outside of nope. the outside of the fight. No, just the just the one. It was the fight. That's it. And that's only because it was a it was a team of two people. So I wanted to take the one guy off. Yeah, but like really and all four games really crisp ridiculous passes too yeah in those games yeah there were some nice ones every every single person had a pass that was just like whoa what? yeah <laughs> what is this? I, you know what it was it was a, it was was a good crazy. overall night because we played really solid defense passing yeah. was damn yes, near perfect and and we finished we finished every opportunity that was uh, that was actually a, a, a good opportunity to, to score, right? Yeah. Like when we had our one, we needed to have it. We had right. It. We had our one on ones. We had our breakaways. We had all that kind of stuff where we had the opportunity to score. Not necessarily a a a a good opportunity to score, but when when it when it came down to getting the goals that we yeah. needed, whether they were clean or dirty goals, it didn't fucking matter. We got them when they mattered, and we fucking we yeah. came out on top all night. I mean, dude, look at the, look at the. <clears throat> Look at the the overtime goal we got in the first game in the third overtime. That was just I took a shot from damn near the fucking blue yep. line, shot it low. It went right to your fucking stick on the back door. Done. Nice little yep, tap. It was in. fucking wild, nice dude. Fucking absolutely outstanding. Not to mention we had some good ass laughs. Oh my God, yeah. 
it was so much fun, dude. We laughed oh, so dude. hard. Oh my god, yeah. we probably shouldn't like. We can't fucking skip this. I try. I thought I was. Did you go back and being listen? Crafty. Did you? Wait. Did you? Yeah. Did you go back and listen? Oh no no did no. Did you no, hear no, the gasp no. of air that you fucking took last night no. when you squeaked no, like a not. fucking innocent mouse? You're like. <gasps> well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to clip that tonight while I'm running through this podcast. Do it because I I, re I really like I don't. Oh believe it. yeah. So I want to know. Because Wes and I literally but, stopped um, talking. I lost our fucking minds. We stopped minds. talking and we were cackling like school year, school school schoolyard little girls. It was fucking hilarious. Schoolyard girls. Schoolyard girls. <laughs> um, but anyway, I thought I was being crafty, no. and I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna do something. This guy's not gonna think that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try a jump deke right through the this middle motherfucker of got <laughs> lifted." Like he was, dude. I jumped into this dude, and he hit me, and it literally—it looked like a number of things. It looked like the, I was choke slammed by the Undertaker. No, it looked, I no, was easily, was like... I was easily eight feet in the air, and I probably flew four or five feet before I even hit. This the man ice. was like, "I don't know why I'm red like, crossing yeah. for like two periods because you died and were brought back to life, it's like, you dummy." It's like, that bitch, was, yo, you flew like the Valkyrie, man. That's what you did. <laughs> that was the longest I have ever red crossed in that game. That shit was uh, nuts. Oh my god, that was. We so also, funny. Anthony also, I think it was him hmm. that like bent down to like either block a shot or hip check someone and launched them like oh no 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 i hit him no that was a goalie. Play was smacked over. him into the goalie, goalie and the goalie, goalie stood up to after he picked up the puck and the dude went <laughs> <laughs> like he like that yeah he like took like, off almost shot this dude through the <laughs> jungle that was amazing that was good yeah because that was the yeah. dude that was running um, around hitting hitting all three of us after the fucking whistle was blown every fucking time yeah Fuck you, um out, outside of that i uh i am still chunking through Pokemon Sword. So I'm in the Galar Mines right now. Oh, nice, nice, nice. A couple, Wait, have you, ever, have you ever played that game couple. until recent? I st Well, here's the... Well, no, I had started it before... I thought Cameron was born. I was playing Let's Go Eevee. That's what you lent me your ball for. Oh. That's the one that I was playing before. Right. And I I bought Pokemon Sword. Right. He bought Shield. I think you... I bought... Anthony bought Sword. Bought Shield as well, I thought. Anthony bought Sword at first. I, I only thought. have the one. I don't I don't remember. You only have I Shield. Actually, I don't even remember if he has... Okay. okay. Yeah, he's got Shield. You've got so, Sword. Because, Wes, you and I were playing... I have Sword. But I think Wes does, yes. too, because we were... Wes and I were... No, 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 no. no I have Wes Shield because shield. you and I played when you were deployed. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, so uh, yeah, I'd started we were texting it. while we were playing. I'd started because they didn't have that Bluetooth shit board, turned dude. on yet. So good. It's it's an incredible game, and I was you know now that his sleep and his naps are so much more predictable, and I can finally get back into playing games yeah. again. I was like, dude, I I I'm super excited about the new Pokemon games coming up, Violet and uh, Scarlet. Scarlet. So I'm like, let me jump back into Sword. Pokemon games, especially sort of Pokemon games in general, is not a game that you can hop back into after a year of not nah. playing it and know any bit of what you nah. were doing, what you were trying to catch. What, so I just erased my thing and I was like, fuck, let me just start over. Wow. So, um, yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, I'm in the, I'm, I've got two badges. I've caught every single thing that I can catch up until that point. Um, I've been lucky enough through surprise trades because literally I'm running a surprise trade the entire time. I'm playing. So, like, the first spot that you can catch Pokemon I at, yeah. I, I always catch, it. like, 11 of the same things so I can continue to have surprise trades going. And uh, I've been lucky enough to get a couple of the things that are shield exclusives that I wouldn't need from you now. And which is, which just is nice. like how I have a handful of um, sword exclusives Swords. through the trades. Dude, yeah. yo, I have, I have Pokemon from Pokemon Go. There is, I have a shiny Dragonite that somebody brought in from Pokemon Go. Hmm. The only shiny that I have, level one hundred. I, hmm. I got shiny a shiny. Dragon. I got a shiny uh, sphere. I got a shiny sphere. What? The other day. Yeah, it's uh, number one. To, that's cute. But number two, what? It's pretty adorable. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So yeah, I, I I've been doing that, having a shitload of fun. And like I said, I I do things. I do things the hard way because I think like this is a little part of like the OCD gamer in me is that if I come to an area where there's a Pokemon that I can get there, even if it's only a 1% encounter. Yeah, rate, I do the same fucking full, thing, dude. Knowing knowing full well that like five routes down the road, that same Pokemon will be there with like a 30% encounter yeah. rate. I don't give a fuck. If I can catch it in the first place I'm at, I'm staying there until yep. I catch it. That way I don't even have to worry about it when I'm down the, down the line. It's like, oh, I've already got it. So I, Alex actually helped me the other the other day. She she took over when I was tired of doing it. Uh, when you get to the first town, I think it's like Motostoke or whatever. There's yep. like a fish place you can go to fish, yep. and there's a one there's like a, five, a one or a five percent chance of a barboach. 
in there. And we stayed in there for like an hour and a half until we finally caught it. <laughs> and now in the Galar mind, that's all that pops up when I was trying to catch a uh, yep. corefish. It's, it's barbo, it's like 55%. All yeah, the so that's one of the fun things about um, Sword and Shield. When you're running through with the Pokedex, you can pull the Pokedex up and it'll give you um, like three Pokemon in that area. Yeah. To go yeah. ahead and try like to go for. Off. Yeah, yeah, and, and, I, and I have a and I and have an app that it, I use. They do it not oh, yeah. only not only in the Galar, but also um, the Tundra. Mm. They do it the same yeah. way, and I'm guessing on the Shield or whatever the um, whatever the other DLC is called. You know, I mean the other island. You know, what I mean it's the same thing because yeah. actually that's actually something I need to do. I uh, I, I have finished a, up the Tundra. I, I haven't ran through the second DLC yet. I have an app. That I haven't I used. I haven't done either DLC, and I about. bought them. Holy fuck! Yeah, you got yeah, something to do. <laughs> Um, I expect absolutely. a report next week. So, uh, yeah, I have this app that I use called uh, CTA Dex. I actually texted it to Wes. I think he at least I downloaded use it. it. I don't know if he's... Yeah, use it. It's, dude, it's really, yo, dude, it's really dope. I use it for Shield and I use it for Arceus. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dope because you can literally break it down. They have like five games that I think you can break down from. Eevee, uh, Sword Shield, Arceus, and I think maybe one other game. You can just like click that on. It'll give you the whole Pokedex. Yes. It'll tell you where you can find the Pokemon. And it has a little like check marks next to them so you can check them off when you have them and it'll so it's just a way for me to keep an easy record and then the if you I've want caught. you can also go ahead and click on them and you can see what they look like not only as a regular but as a male or a female if that's different or as a shiny and what that will look like as well exactly because it's been so long since i've played there's some pokemon that i forget so like if i catch an oddish i go in there and i look at it and it's like okay i need two oddish because one i can evolve into balasum the other one i can evolve into violet so yeah you know, it, it, it helps there. But yeah, I've been having a shit tone, a shit tone, a shit, shit ton tone of fun with that. And uh, I plan on getting back into that uh, tomorrow. So, yeah. Wade. Nice. And you got anything? No. He, no, he's about to, though. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Next time he's on, he's like, by the way, I started doing the uh, DLCs for. <laughs> oh, man's got to do a little update on that Switch and then run with it. Yeah, you're right, I do. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Yeah, we had Shell. Um, I was lucky enough to jump into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge over the last two days. Sounded like you had a lot of fun. Dude, let me tell you, it is the most beautifully nostalgic thing, dude. It it feels so good to hear the music. Not to mention, yo, like Wu-Tang put songs on on this game. Like, dude, like, like some fucking bangers, bro. Let me go ahead and tell you, bangers. So... Essentially, in the game, you, I mean, look, Shredder's Revenge, obviously, but dude, yo, you go against the Rat King, you go against Krang, you go against Bebop, Rocksteady. Um, you, I mean, you deal with some of the uh, the Triceratop people, all sorts of wild shit, dude. Yo, the game is just absolutely amazing. And then when you beat it one time running through, you get Casey Jones. Hmm. Casey Jones is hands down one of the most powerful characters in the game. It is fucking fantastic. So much fun. Had a blast. Had, had had so much fun playing it. But yeah, that's where we are. That's what we do. That's how we play. All right, y'all. It is time for you to connect with CGC. You can go to our website, which is consolegamingcrew.com, or go to our email, which is consolegamingcrew at gmail.com. Our Twitter is at console crew, and our YouTube and Instagram are both console gaming crew. By the way, we do have it fixed. On the intro, at least for mine, I will have these guys go ahead and fix theirs when we get to it. Mm -hmm. BossRush.net. That is where you will find the Boss Rush Network. Everything and anything that you need when it comes down to gaming, entertainment, or otherwise, that is where you can go. Guaranteed you'll find something that you're looking for. You can also go ahead and check us out on our Twitch, which is CGC Podcast. You have my co-op Monday nights where I'm throwing out my boys, Mike from the Twisted Cape, Javier, and Dan. We are running... Uh, Actually, honestly, we'll probably be running Turtles for a little bit until Fall Guys comes out. And then we will bring the platform hater, Dan Gray, oh, yeah. onto it. And it will be glorious. Dude, I want to hand him all of my streaming equipment so that way he can stream because I want to watch it. Because that man gets so mad. It's, it, it, it is amazing. And then we also have our Fun Friday where we do chill. We go ahead and play the games. And I'm actually thinking there might be another night that I start streaming to go ahead. And I need to find another alliteration for a some type of scary game type thing during the week to where that we can bring scary game back in. Hmm. Until Dawn or Visage, bro. 
Well, no, it's probably going to be until dawn. I'm just saying, like, you mean you mean some type of uh, alliteration for like a Wednesday or a Thursday or whatever. You know what I mean? Like how we had Freaky Friday. Oh, also, jump on our T Public. Our T Public yeah, it now yeah. has all of our Pride, um, all of our Pride gear, as well actually, as the OG and headphone logo. Yeah, actually, uh, Alex's mug came today. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, nice. I yeah, am so a- happy about that. All right, I need to send her a text to have her send me a picture. Um, also, I do want to ask everybody, if you like what you hear, if you kind of like what you hear, if you would like it better if you just didn't hear anybody that sounds like me, <laughs> rate us. Go anywhere you can rate us, man. Spotify, uh, Apple Apple, uh, Apple Podcast. Um, I think Amazon maybe you can rate as well. I'm not even sure. But yeah, man, yo, throw us them five stars. Give a comment. We will read them. I guarantee it. Trust me. I I need that admiration. I need I need to know that people like me. And if they don't like me, I need to read that too. I like you, bro. Thank you, man. Sometimes. I mean, you're you are a bad friend. Awesome. I am a horrible friend. <laughs> but I will go ahead and say, at the very least, that I want everybody to stay safe, wash their hands, mask up, do what they got to, to survive and feel good. And as always, game on. Yeah. Come on, y'all.